Hello gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one. Today I want to talk about the best affordable makeup brands that I know of, that I enjoy, I really like, because some of us are budgeting beauties. We love makeup, we love buying makeup, we like trying new makeup, but we don't necessarily have the depths in our pockets to go for those high-end luxury brands. And I totally get it because I am that person. I love affordable makeup brands. So today I'm going to tell you about my favorite ones while also using the products that I really like from these brands on my face to create a really cute makeup look for you guys today. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let's stop talking and get into it. Now before we start, just give this video a thumbs up really quick. And also if you're not subscribed to my channel already, you should click on that red button and turn it gray and let's get started. So usually I start with my face. But today I'm going to start with my eyes because I have a very specific look in mind that I'm picturing in my head and I think it'll be better if I start with the eyes. Now yes, my face is completely bare right now other than my moisturizer. So yeah, let's get started. I am going to bring you in so we can start on the eye and let's just dive in. Alright, so now that you're like very close to me, I want to start by talking about the first brand we're going to use and that is ColourPop. Yes, if you've been a part of my channel for a while, you see I do a lot of ColourPop reviews because A, they come out with a ton of products every year and B, they're my favorite brand. By far, one of the most affordable and best quality brands that I have ever come across in my entire experience with makeup. So that's why I love ColourPop. A lot of people love ColourPop. If you haven't tried ColourPop already, um, I highly recommend it. They have so much, so much. So today I'm going to be using the Miss Bliss palette. Now this has been out for a while, I think about a year now. It's a very beautiful um, pastel orangey pink palette and I've only ever used it once. So I want to use it again today. I think I'm going to focus a lot on the orange shades. I want to do something very orangey today. And I want to start with the eye because I'm going to make the eye very sharp by using this little uh, scotch tape trick that I'm sure you have heard of, maybe even tried yourself. So I'm gonna do that. First, of course, I'm not gonna do just bare eyes. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of like foundation and concealer on them and then also down here so it'll blend out when I finally actually put on my foundation. So I'm gonna go put um, some concealer and foundation on my eyes and we'll actually talk about the foundation and concealer later and why I like it in the brands. All right, so yes, I know I look a little funny with concealer just on my eyes and nowhere else, but that's okay because I wanna put that little base down for the eyeshadow and then we'll also be going back in with concealer and um, foundation later after the eyes are done. I am going to use my scotch tape. I'm gonna take it right here. I'm gonna take a little piece and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna touch it with my fingers a lot because I don't want it to be super sticky because this is your eyeball. And you don't want that like pulling really hard on your eye. That would not be good. So now that it's kind of not as sticky, but it'll still stick to the face, I'm gonna put it on about here because I'm gonna do a very sharp look today. I think that is kind of where I want it. Kind of that nice angle there. And it doesn't feel, if you've never done this in your skin, it doesn't, it's very non-sticky. It's not pulling my eye or anything. It doesn't hurt. In case you haven't done this trick. So some people use this for eyeliner. I'm not actually gonna do an eyeliner today. I am going to, I want to make it a very sharp looking shimmery eye. I don't know if you've ever seen looks like this. I see them a lot and I really, really like them and I've never really tried one myself. So we're gonna try it today. Now the look I'm gonna do is not gonna be a super blended out look, not gonna be smoky. It's gonna be very precise and sharp. So I'm taking a packing brush rather than a blending brush and I'm just gonna make sure my concealer is blended. See, so I'm gonna go in here with this color right here, Optimus. That's a really cute like pastel orange color, very peachy. And I'm gonna pack this kind of to show you the outline of kind of what I wanna do. And I really wanna follow the line of my eye, kinda of where my crease is, where my eyeball is, kinda of really follow that. And if you have to kinda, of, don't poke your eye, but kinda of like push in to find where your eyeball kinda of sit. Now, one of the reasons I really love ColourPop, specifically, I love all their products, but their eye products are just really well known. I feel like their palettes are very popular. A lot of 
affordable makeup brands, when they do eyeshadow, it tends to be very like chalky and hard, I feel like. When you're touching it, it's very hard, chalky, dusty sometimes. And a lot of times those luxury or maybe a little bit of high-end brands tend to have that really buttery feeling to their eyeshadow products. And the thing I like about ColourPop is that they're one of those affordable brands that really does the creamy, buttery formulas very well while still being very inexpensive. Which is why I highly recommend them, especially I love their eyeshadows. They have a bunch of different palettes, a bunch of different color ranges. Um, something that literally anyone can find and enjoy. That's a little better. I kind of like that. So I'm just following my eye, making it really sharp. Don't worry about going over the tape. We're going to pull that off later. Okay, so now that I got that packed on, I'm going to take the shimmer shade. The orange shimmer shade called Palo Santo. That one right there. Very pretty. I've never used this before. I've only ever used the pink, so I'm excited to see how this looks. And I'm just kind of packing over, especially on the front side. Oh wow, that is very shimmery. Now don't worry if you go past your baseline, because you could always fix this up with concealer. And I kind of want to drag the shimmer almost all the way over, but a little lighter at the end because then I'm going to darken it up again. Now I've always seen looks like this and I've always wanted to do it. I've never done something where I've just really focused and never blended it out where I've just really kept it on the lid of the eye. But so far I'm actually really liking it and it's very simple and easy to do. Now I'm going to take Vibrant Thing, this one down in the corner. It's still an orange, but it has a bit of brown in it and also a bit of sparkle too. And I'm gonna focus that on the outside. It looks very similar to the color. And I am using a blending brush for this, but I'm not really blending. I'm just kind of placing. I actually really, really like that. It's very simple, and yes, it's like one-toned almost, very monochromatic, but I'm actually like really into it. And this color is pretty. Like I said, I've never, I've only ever used the pinks on this. I've never used the, there's a bit of fallout. I've never used the oranges, but this is so pretty. These pastel orangey colors, oh my gosh. Very summer vibes, even though it's the middle of winter right now. You know, gotta warm it up a little bit, right? And that is what I'm gonna do for the eye, really. That's that's literally all I'm doing for the eye. Something very basic, very simple, but very sharp. And then I'm gonna end up doing the same thing on the other eye. But that was the first brand that I really like, and that is ColourPop. And now I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna finish the other eye, and then I'm gonna put on, and then I'm gonna go put on eyelashes. And there is a brand recently that I found of eyelashes that I really, really like. And I'm gonna, and they are very affordable. And they are BH Cosmetics. Yes, I've used these lashes, which is why they're like sitting in there quite wonky. But I really like BH Cosmetic lashes. Um, I really, my favorite one I think is the M205, but they are very affordable. I got a handful of them. Um, I went and bought a handful of them. And so far I have liked every single one I have tried from their brand. I think I have about five eyelashes from there. So if you're new to eyelashes, you don't wanna, like um, shell out a bunch of money for those really expensive eyelash brands. BH Cosmetics, highly recommend them. The pair I'm gonna be using today is the D307 pair. And I will be right back with the other eye done and the eyelashes on. And we'll go into the face and other brands I love. Okay, so I just put my lashes on and finished the other eye, but I did not take the tape off because I figured I should show you guys. So I'm gonna bring you up even closer. Hello. And now we're gonna pull it off. Are you ready? Look at that crisp line. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. That's like way higher than I wanted to go. I might take a bit of a makeup break and fix that a bit. It went really high, but now let's also do the other eye. I highly recommend this um, look. It took literally five minutes. This one's a little thicker. That's okay, we're not perfect, but it is really cute. Very cute. So now I'm just gonna take the little 
fluffy brush that I was using. And I'm gonna take that opportunist color right there again and I'm gonna just smoke out the bottom lash line a little bit. I like doing this with my makeup. Some people don't, some people do. I always like going under the lash line. You are welcome to do whatever you please. Also, I should probably say um, my favorite lash glue as well is the Duo Glue. I'm currently using the um, the brush on adhesive invisible one is the one I've been using lately and I really like it and I think personally I think it only cost me like three dollars. I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the Maybelline um, Total Temptation mascara just very lightly. Oh, that looks so cute. So let's go into the face now and I'm sorry if the lighting gets weird at all like it's cloudy and the sun's it's only two o'clock, so the sun shouldn't be going down soon, but it's like cloudy and kind of at an angle. So I apologize if the lighting is kind of weird. After ColourPop, my next favorite brand is probably e.l.f. I really like e.l.f. e.l.f. is probably one of the most affordable brands on the market. And they're also animal and cruelty free, so who doesn't love that? And most of their products that I've tried, I really like. So I'm going to use their Soothing Face Primer today. I also really like their Mint To Be Primer as well. I did an entire review on this collection. If you want to go check it out, I will link it down below in the description. But I'm going to use their Soothing Face Primer today. They're meant to be ones very good, but Soothing's a bit more hydrating. And I am a dry skin person, so I really like their Soothing Face Primer. So next we're going to do foundation. And two of my favorite affordable foundations is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Finish. I really like this one. And I also love the Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation as well. These are some of my two favorites. I really like both of them. Both are pretty high coverage. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one today, the e.l.f. Satin Finish, because I love my Juvia's Place one. I accidentally left the cap open and it oxidized, so I need to get a new one. It's super orange now, so we're not gonna, I just wanted to mention it. It's a great foundation. So we're gonna use the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, and I'm using Light Ivory, which I believe is their lightest shade, with a yellow undertone, I should say. I'm just taking my beauty sponge, I'm just gonna blend that, blend that in. I really like it. It's high coverage, but also doesn't dry down completely matte. And like I said, I'm a dry skin person, so sometimes matte foundations really cling on to the dry spots on my face. So I recommend this one. They do have a matte one, I believe, as well. In case you are someone who's more oily, um, I definitely recommend, and they're not that expensive. I think it's only $6, honestly. Full disclosure, even though it is satin, so it's better for um, dry skin people like me, it does still cling to spots. Um, I'm extremely dry, so just keep that in mind. But it is probably one of the best, most affordable foundations I have come across ever. All right, so next I'm gonna use a concealer, and uh, again, I, meant, I just mentioned this brand, Juvia's Place. I really love Juvia's Place. They're an amazing brand. The The amount of range they have in everything, especially their foundations, which is so important. And it's very high quality. I, everything I've tried from Juvia's Place, their eyeshadows, their concealers, their foundations, love. So I'm using the I Am Magic concealer and this is the color Tokyo. It is the lightest color. I accidentally ordered online and I messed up my coloring. So it's very light, so I am just using the tiniest bit of this, otherwise it'll be like too light. But it is great for doing a, um, some intense contour on your face. And then I'm blending that in with my beauty sponge. I am using an eco sponge. I can't remember the name of it um, right now, but I really like the sponge brand because it's biodegradable. So they're a really great brand. So if you're looking for a really good beauty sponge, I can't remember how much I this one was, but I will link it down below if you're interested in looking at it. So next thing I'm going to do, um, using the Revolution brand white baking powder. Now I have mixed feelings about Makeup Revolution. No, this is just Revolution, not Makeup Revolution, sorry. Some of the things I've had from them are really good. Some of the things were a little hit or miss, but I've noticed in recent years, they've kind of changed their formulas and stuff and they've done a lot better. Um, they've collabed with bigger um, makeup YouTubers like Roxaurus. She came out with like three different palettes and I've heard they're very good. I haven't tried them myself, but I really like their powders and I just use a little bit of this on my beauty sponge and I use it very lightly because um, with powders, if you have dry skin, you shouldn't use too many of them. But if you're oily, you can be a little bit more liberal with it. Uh, but I recommend their baking powder. I really like it and it was only like $6, so 
All right, next I'm gonna do my, my bronzing and my blush. And the next brand I have to talk about, I recently found this brand. And I actually really, really like them. They're called Beauty Bay. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't. They're actually a UK brand, but they ship to the United States because that's where I'm from. And everything I've tried by them, incredibly affordable, and I really like their stuff. I'm using their, um, their bronzing powder in the color Donut, and I really like it. It's very pigmented, so you just need a little bit. And um, I've tried some of their stuff. I have, I'm gonna use one of their blushes next as well. And I also like their eyeshadow palettes. They have like 20 pan palettes for like $10. Um, I really like the Book of Magic palette of theirs is really good and um, Sunset Horizon is very great as well. I really like those two palettes of theirs. They're incredibly pretty and pigmented. And Beauty Bay also, if you go on Beauty Bay, they carry a bunch of other brands as well on their website. So I recommend checking them out. They usually have sales going and um, I just really like them. If you're in the United States, they do take a while to ship. Um, I actually will be doing another haul from them. I did one um, I did one in early December and I really liked it and I have another order on the way as well of other and new brands I've like never tried and some of their other stuff that I haven't tried yet. And then I'm also gonna use one of their blush powders. This is one of the most pigmented blushes I have and it's called Blossom. And I am always super light-handed so I'm just taking an e.l.f. Um, fluffy brush and I'm just I just very lightly otherwise you'll be very pink yeah see that was just like a tap and it's already coming out so very pigmented and they also have a bunch of different colors and I think this is only like six dollars so quite affordable um, I just found this brand this past year in 2020 2020 they're very they got a lot of cool stuff I really like their brand Every time I want to record, the sun just hates me. I don't know why. All right, so a little goes a long way with that. I really like Beauty Bay, highly recommend them. Next, I'm gonna do my highlight, and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Again, I really like Wet n Wild. They're a lot like e.l.f. in that they are one of the most affordable um, makeup brands out there, and um, so far, everything I've tried from them, I've really liked. The brand is also cruelty-free, so I love that. I try to stay as cruelty-free as I possibly can, um, and it's great that a lot of affordable brands have been doing that lately. So I really love their Mega Glow Highlighter. Um, it's intense, which is why I'm just building it up on a, a small, fluffy little highlighting brush and just... Can you see that? This is, I should say, this is in the color Blossom Glow. So this is a bit of a pink shine to it, a little bit of pink to it, which I think is fine with the look we're doing because um, that like pastel orangey, I feel like goes really cute with pink as well as the tip of the nose. And then I'm also gonna take this and just gently go under the brow bone. I really like to highlight the brow bone. I think it just adds to your eyeshadow as well as just your overall, like the structure of your face. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit on my finger. Like like I said, it's very pigmented. And I'm just gonna put some right in the corner of my eye to really highlight it. Perfect, and now I'm gonna do the eyebrows. Um, I don't do a whole lot with my eyebrows because as you can see, naturally I got quite a bit of hair on my eyebrows, but another brand I really like, LA Girl. Very, again, like super affordable. Um, like very low prices, like shockingly low. Yeah, so I am currently taking the Brow Bestie pencil. I'm brushing out with a spoolie my eyebrows and then I'm taking this in light brown. Or wait, is this blonde? This might be, no, this is the light brown one. And I just gently, just especially in the front part and just gent gently draw over my eyebrows. I don't have to be very precise. Cause like I said, I got a bit of a natural eyebrow going already, but I really like LA Girl. Everything I've tried from them is really good. They also have, they're famous for their Pro Conceal Concealer, which I also have, and I also recommend. I'm taking a ColourPop Brow Boss um, Gel really quick and just putting that over my eyebrow. And now I am going to do my lips. So I'm taking, 
I think I'm gonna do a kind of nudie pink color. And first I'm taking, again, another LA Girl product. This is the Perfect Precision Lip Liner. And it's in a, it's in a pink color. And I'm just gonna gently line my lips. I'm not gonna overdo anything, just kind of gently fill them in. And then the last brand I'm gonna talk about today is NYX. So NYX makeup was originally the thing that got me into makeup and loving makeup when I started. NYX really stood out to me because it was an Ulta um, and it was inexpensive and they had a lot of stuff. So this was like the first brand that really got me into makeup. So I'm going to take their liquid suede lipstick and this is the color sandstorm so it's a very sandy like nude brown and then i'm also going to place once i put that on i'm going to place their soft matte lipstick in the color garden statement and it's more of a pinky color to kind of get the nude color i'm looking for okay so that's just sandstorm on there and i'm gonna let that dry for a second it's a very nice like sandy brown nude color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the soft matte color and it's this really pretty light mauve tone. And I'm just gonna kinda go over it in kinda the middle area, just lightly. So I'm going over it lightly cause I just wanna add a bit of pink to the nude. And that, everybody, is the finished look. And I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and fun. I'm definitely gonna do more eyes like that where it's just that very simple, sharp look, kind of monochromatic, I love it. Um, and yeah, these are using all my favorite like affordable brands and my favorite products from them. So we talked about ColourPop, love ColourPop. We talked about e.l.f., I love e.l.f., Juvia's Place, Wet n Wild, Beauty Bay, LA Girl, and NYX. All these brands are ones that are very affordable, they're very easy to find either in drugstores Alta and Altas. And they're, I think almost all of these brands are cruelty free as well, which that's a bonus. And all of the products that I showed you, I really love. And most of these brands, the products that I see and try from them have not disappointed. So that is my final look. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video there because this lighting is driving me nuts. But I hope you liked it. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, you should come join my little YouTube family. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And also comment down below if there is a, another brand, another affordable brand that you really love because I'm always looking to expand my range of stuff and what brands I am using and trying. And if it's affordable, that is a plus. So comment down below those brands. And also if you want to see more makeup content from me, I have a makeup Instagram, Anna Zickis Makeup, where I post more daily pictures of my daily makeup and other things I do outside of YouTube all about makeup. I also have a makeup TikTok. If you are a TikTok person and you like looking at makeup on there, I do little quick makeup, makeup videos. Again, Anna Zickis Makeup, um, where you can find all my stuff. And anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day.